Boo A1, not the mini. I got it when it was on a sale, so I got a fairly good price on it. The other machines that are more expensive, you're gonna get something that maybe works a little faster and also that has a bigger build plate. I've been considering if I want to upgrade. When I bought this, I wasn't sold. The only reason I got it is because my son got a different 3D printer and I thought his was a pain to use, but I was starting to see some of the benefits of having one. Here we are, <clears throat> and I have my own 3D printer and I use it a lot and I'm really enjoying it. There's parts of it that I think I would enjoy more if I had a bigger build plate and if it was a little faster. But overall, super, super happy with this machine and I use it a lot. So <clears throat> there's a few things to note that this is the excess filament. This is left over from the cuts. A lot of times you have to have some sort of support or you make mistakes. So you do have extra filament left over that has been used. You can melt these down and use them for other things, which is neat. And they are recyclable, which is a benefit. One of the things I was concerned about using a machine that was plastic based was that the items wouldn't be recyclable and that I would be just creating more plastic to ruin the earth. So knowing that these are recyclable is helpful. Now I'm not sure all of it is. I think the PLA is. I'm not sure about some of the other types. So that's just something to note. The only thing I wish I did have was boxes to store all this stuff in because I would like to separate it by color and also separate it by type. Whenever you change colors, this particular machine tends to have a lot of excess filament. So you see a lot of these little pieces. Pretty much it just clears the head as it switches colors. You can buy a lot of different filaments. You can do multicolor ones, look very shiny and they change color a little as you shift them. With the light, this is PLA, PLA, I believe, and PLA, this is glow in the dark. I have not actually seen it glow in the dark yet because I don't think I've ever printed anything with it yet. This is the PETG. So this is just a little bit more durable. The A1 has the four different pieces that come with it. You do end up getting the ability to switch colors. Some printers, you can only do one color at a time. Maybe you can switch them out in between, but that sounds pretty horrible. I don't wanna have to deal with that. Um, too old for that. So overall, I've been super happy with the whole thing. It's been super easy to use. They give you a lot of extra little parts, which are important because you may end up having issues. We ended up having some issues where my prints weren't working and then we realized that one of the pieces had gotten broken. They gave us a bunch of extra pieces. So I was able to just swap it out and now it's working fine again very small and easy piece to swap out not a big deal and yeah so you've got your screen here you can stop you can print or you can pause you can stop your print if you have issues you can change your filament I have not well this is greenish it's hard to and I'm too lazy to flip through but when you change your filaments out you can edit them and change what it is in here the only thing I found is it doesn't always update on my computer or maybe it never does so you have to update it on both at least to my understanding, I might be doing something wrong. I'm not the most experienced person with 3D printing. So just take that for what it's worth. So four different PLAs here. The one thing to remember is this stuff needs to be stored in a place that is not humid. You want it to stay dry. This um, particular zone is pretty dry, but what I did is I got a box, a really good box. And then I store my PLA in here with one of these babies. This is, it has the, Things, the silicone pa packets that you get in your in like packages to keep things dry it pretty much is that and when it's dry it turns colors and then you have to charge it and the nice thing about this thing is you just pop that out and you just plug it in excuse my dogs being everywhere <clears throat> so that will recharge and then i can just put it back in the container and that saves me from having to deal with all the things so ideally you want as many in here as you can get i don't know if there's like a max best size or anything but yep that's what we do and obviously I need three more of these and three more of those things but it's a separate problem in an ideal world I will find a better storage solution to be honest I'm not super excited I was not planning on deciding to be into 3d printing because I didn't need a new hobby but I love this so much it's so much fun it's so easy and a lot of it's very hands-off besides the design piece so this is one of the things we printed with the multicolor changing filament. So we didn't actually have to change filament here. The color actually changes in the filament as you're printing. Um, this ended up being a scrap because it's not exactly what I needed. It didn't work for the projects. Womp womp. But yeah, you can see the color looks really cool. The one thing I was like, what am I really going to print with these? The answer is fidgets because I apparently love them and need them in my life. This one actually came apart because wear and tear. It wasn't the print's fault. <laughs> it was mine. I keep these in my pocket and it's a good fidget for 
just messing with. But yeah, I've broken it apart over time. I'll show you some other things I've done. So just for a couple other things I've 3D printed, I 3D printed this bookend. The design isn't what I wanted, so I ended up making some other designs for myself for bookends because I like this side to be where the books can sit on it. But I love the look of this one. I said, what am I gonna need this for? These are only for toys. Who needs toys? Apparently I need toys because this is the cutest little guinea pig house. <laughs> it's just for like little toy guinea pigs and you can print them with white filament and then paint them, which is a lot of fun. Obviously this one looks professional. This one looks like my child painted it and he did an awesome job because mine looks not nearly as good. <laughs> um, but you often print things in pieces. So like this thing printed in multiple pieces and then you had your base here and then that's my guinea pig you can see my children did much better than i did <clears throat> and, and it's got little stairs then i can put it back together now often you do have to pay for the different files because someone puts a lot of effort into creating them and a lot of time and they should get paid for it and it allows you to support small businesses that you enjoy and think do a good job which i enjoy doing um, so. and I like that I can be creative and make them my own things so eventually I'm hoping to get some prints for like my actual guinea pigs so my plan is to make one of the things I'm working on right now is guinea pig houses for my guinea pig area but there's a lot of things you can do with so I know it seems, what are you gonna do with them besides toys? But there's a lot of things you can actually do like latches and hinges. I've got a bunch of hooks up here that I 3D printed as well. So in general, there's more than you might think. Needless to say, I am sold and I love it. And now I want a million big ones and that's what it is. But I'm finding that there's actually a lot of uses on my farm and in my personal life that kind of solve problems, which is really my key thing with anything I DIY or do crafts with is I really just wanna solve some problems and fix things as quickly as possible and not have to mess around too much. But if this solves my problems, that's awesome. There is a learning curve to the stuff you design. Designing is a lot harder, but there's so many products for free or for a small fee, like $2, $5, whatever, that it makes it worth being able to do. So super awesome, highly recommend them. And I hope that was helpful to someone. Thanks so much, have a good day, take care.